Right guys, we have some pretty exciting leaks regarding iPad OS 16, so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So the source of the reports is Majin Bu, a somewhat credible source. But either way, do take this with a grain of salt, since iOS and iPadOS leaks are usually completely bogus. But anyways, delving right in, the first tidbit could be pointing towards two possible features we could see with the iPad. So Majin says that Apple's testing a smart system for iPadOS, where apps automatically shrink and become windows when you connect a keyboard and a trackpad. Now this makes me think of two possible features. The first one is similar to Dex, where you connect the iPad to an external screen, and instead of giving you a blown up version of iPadOS, it gives you a custom OS that should be very Mac-like. And yeah, this feature is incredibly useful on Samsung phones. It can transform your phone into a basic PC and so of course, having that feature with the iPad would be pretty neat. Since iPads do need to massively improve external support and with Apple refusing to give us macOS on these iPads, they might as well go the DeX route and give us a custom OS that's based on iPadOS but more optimized for a desktop. And I'm assuming this dex like mode can give you floating windows on your desktop and that's going to be a much better experience. And talking about floating windows, I think that could be another possible feature we could see with iPadOS, since I do think with many using iPads as their main computers, having floating windows would be pretty nice. I mean macOS, Windows and even to an extent Android has floating windows and with the bigger screens we have on iPads it's about time Apple takes advantage of that with floating window support. And so this should ideally allow you to resize and arrange apps on the screen wherever you like which can maximize productivity in a massive way. Now by the way Majin does say this could be an M1 iPad exclusive and this would be a bummer but I do think it's very likely to happen because Right now, M1 is kind of pointless on the iPads, and for older iPad customers, there's really no incentive to upgrade, and so giving the M1 models that also have tons more RAM, exclusive features that the other iPads don't have, is obviously going to get tons of people to upgrade. And yes, right now, as the lineup stands, I do think the M1 cap makes sense for this feature, because the iPad mini is way too tiny for floating windows, and also many buying the budget iPad iPads want a pretty basic experience and so they don't need these multitasking features. But for those buying the Air and the Pro especially with the Magic Keyboard, this can be a laptop replacement and so yes I do think it's about time Apple takes advantage of all the horsepower in these iPads. Now talking about Apple utilizing the power of the M1, obviously when we saw the iPad Pros, many of us were expecting Pro apps to launch with iPad OS 15, but of course it did not, and that was a major disappointment. While Majin believes that with iPad OS 16 we could finally see Pro apps, specifically Final Cut Pro on the iPad. Now he does say this might not be identical to the Mac version of the app, for example, it does not manage projects and plugins locally on the device, instead it's going to use iCloud, and I guess that does make sense because iPads do have way less storage than most Macs. And well, I'm sure Final Cut Project would eat into a 64 gig iPad Air with the M1, so moving everything to the clouds does make sense. But I do think that also means this will be a light version of Final Cut that gives you the basics but won't be as feature rich as the Mac version. And yeah, I'm completely fine with that because of course, Apple still needs you to buy a Mac and so for those wanting more features, you still have to go down that route. But for those doing basic edits, having a first party app that's better than iMovie is going to be appreciated. And finally, a different source has found support for Terminal within iOS and so I'm assuming the iPad's also going to get that with iPadOS 16. So yeah, those are all the exciting tidbits. Obviously, do remember that these leaks can be wrong, as they have been in the past, since Apple does a pretty good job at preventing software leaks. But fingers crossed, this all is legit. But guys, tell me in the comments below what feature do you want to see come to the next version of iPadOS? 
Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video above on details regarding the iPad 10. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.